So, g'day fellow YouTubers, or people who like coins or banknotes, this is Glam, back with another video, and I have some more coins and banknotes that I'll purchase. Ah, uh, have a look at these beautiful stamps, World Refugee, uh, 4 cents, so what, they were probably 50s, 1950 stamp, uh, 1957, 58, 3 cents, 1962, 4 cents stamp, wow, inflation has really taken its toll. And here we have a current one, Henry James, 3 ounce, 2016, doesn't have a price on it. And here we have the Australian ones, 55 cents, so it's 2009, it's another 2009, 55 cents with a earlier stamping uh, pre-decimal. And here we have a 35 cents, so that would probably be... So, um, probably 1980s, early 90s. So, as you can see, these stamps are not worth collecting. People who sell coins and banknotes, they just use these all the time. So, I've gotten old stamps from Germany, uh, Sweden, um, Estonia, even though they're not as old as this, and a lot of other countries, because stamp collecting has just died. And here's another one from... Ooh, sorry, nearly showed my address. From, from, is that Republic South Africa? Uh, don't know, don't know, have to, have to look that up. Anyway, so, let's have a look and see what I have. Oh no, that was Serbia. So, RB is Republic Serbia. Let's see what we have from Serbia. This should actually be the Yugoslav set that I got. Oh, could be, could be the Montenegro banknotes. I uh, can't remember. Can't remember. And oh, da, 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 da. look, it came in. I presume that's in Serbo Croatian. Not bad. No idea what it says. Obviously, it's for a credit card or whatever. Um, so, when you get this all this junk, it's actually quite good to actually pack your banknotes in. So, do I have anything? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Montenegro. 1914. Let's just take that off. 10 pepper. And I think this is from the second issue. So let's just turn around so I can tin purple. As you can see, it has the coat of arms. This seems to be with the printing. Seems to be more of a um, uh, probably a cheaper type of issue. And in 1914, actually. Montenegro actually issued two different types of banknotes, so I can show them both together. So that's nice, didn't actually cost that much as far as I know. Uh, let's see what we have from the other one. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to edit this video to cross out my address. Because I'm very scared. Oh, there's only one banknote in this. What is it? Oh, an old Australian five dollar banknote. So these ones are used up until 1992. And this is 1991 with a uh, Fraser and Cole. Beautiful. This is my favourite paper banknote from Australia. I remember actually using these still. I used to buy um, Donna kebabs, which are Turkish kebabs, for about I think 450 at this time. Early 90s, with uh, my Iranian and Italian friends. Awesome, so I like that banknote very much. And this other one, I've brought a few items off this guy. He usually only sends two items at a time. And this should actually be the last that I actually get from him. Uh, he usually send, puts a return address, but this one doesn't have any. 
So if you get some items from overseas in Australia via eBay, you've already paid GST. I've heard that, um, I just read the eBay forums and someone had to go to the post office and pay GST. All you need to do is just take a receipt from, take a receipt or from um, eBay, so just print it off or something, just show them that you've actually paid the GST and then collect your items. There should be no argument really. Because why should you have to pay GST twice? So, the last one I got is an Afghan to Afghanis. So, this is 1961. As you can see, it has two. And on the back, it just has an eagle. I think that might have been the coat of arms at the time. It's got 1340 on it. So, that's. I'm trying to get. Oh, I need the. Uh, five Afghanis for that. And the surprising fact is that 1961, they, 41 and 2, they didn't issue any more. Uh, 1 and 2 up into 1978, even though we're, they were a republic since 1973. And the Canadian 5 cent, 1922, this one should be a pretty high mintage. With a uh, oh, very, very fine grade, I'd actually put that in because I see how many. Diamonds I can see in the crown. So, that's a new update. I actually quite like these. Pity I didn't get some more. And uh, have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. Thank you very much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Because, well, we can learn things together. Hooroo.